Biggest fan mail we've ever done? No way. Wow. I love it. No way. <laughs> break a break a one night. Sure. John Deere. Summer night. Yeah. Woo. It works. Oh my gosh, it's a robot. Hey, it works. It's literally everywhere. Oh man. How awesome is that? Thank you. This is crazy. Wow. What? Super cool. Beach ball activated. <laughs> <laughs> it's a remote bathroom emergency or not? They want to see Tater. <laughs> it's <is> awesome. <laughs> what? Whoa. Whoa. Chocolate covered beaver nugget. This may change my life. <gasps> wow. This. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Swankosaurus Rex. Are you kidding me? Red <laughs> Invitation. Yeah. That's a first. 14 hours? Nice. You want your letter? Oh, we got kitties. It's fan mail again. <laughs> we remembered to hook our microphone up this time. Last episode, we didn't have our mic, and I don't know, you might have heard the kids all right, but maybe not. Can you believe what all is here this time? We have never had boxes Crazy. this big. Who sent this? This is what I want to know. John Green. Tosh has been on me and on me to uh, open this box he since the day came. Yeah, she she always wants to open them ahead of time, and I'm like, nope, nope, not doing it. I can't even see you over there. Are you even over there? Hi. There's so much fan mail, I can't even see mom. But man, guys, you've just overdone it. I think this is the biggest fan mail we've ever done. I don't think we've ever had stuff this big. One thing, I can already see what it is here. So I know what this is right here. You'll find out here in just a second. Should we start with the big stuff? Yeah. We well, usually no. go the opposite way. No, we're already starting. What if we start with the big stuff this time? Okay. We'll go biggest first. All right, so where's everything from, Squeeze? Alabama, Wisconsin, California, Massachusetts, Missouri, Tennessee, Kentucky, Michigan, Florida, West Virginia, Indiana, Arizona, Texas, Illinois, Illinois, <laughs> Illinois, <laughs> Washington, <laughs> Connecticut. New Jersey. That is incredible. New Jersey. You did a great job reading that, Squeezel. Well, let's start. I, Who's that from? I got the letter off of this, so let me open this. You said it's from John. Where is he from? This is from John Green from West Dennis, Massachusetts. And he sent you a whole letter, huh? Yes. A card? So he says, I can't fully describe how much I enjoy your videos. I first started watching because of your attempts to restore old Fer Ford Fairmont. Yes. Um, which is his one of his favorite cars. My man. That's right. Your family is such an interesting group. He's impressed with mom being helpful and skilled as she is. Ralph is great help and so is Wawa. Their less are working on as far as it's obvious. Quite fond of Rocky and Granny. And I guess the one thing that really attracts me is how well you get along together. I'm sending you two Ford Fairmont dashboard covers. No way. Is that what's in here? I've used these on all the Fairmonts I've what? had since finding actual dashboard tops in good condition. That's freaking out. I just have the dashboard top on my... Um, 81 Ford Fairmont redone. The other item in the huge box is something I'm sure you will like and hope you will find a place in your shop. I wish you all well and thank you for the hard work you do and the joy you bring to so many people. Is there something Please keep me in mind if you ever do sell that yellow LTD wagon. We should have opened this earlier. You were correct, honey. It's a Fairmont part. He'll have it hanging up in the bedroom. Oh, man. Oh, wow. I'm super excited already. You have outdone yourself, John. This is just... Above and beyond right here. We're right next to a Fairmont here, the big block car. I had no idea. I was like, what is in that huge box? Wow. Oh, I got a kitty down here. I better watch out. Kitty, kitty. These kitties are a mess. Look at that. That's beautiful. Wow. So this brand is, it says Dash Top. Wow, I got it. It's blue. Is it, what color is the other one? Here, hold that. Ah, I can't believe this. Man, this is awesome. I did not expect this. Oh, it's got the glue, you're saying? Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you. Oh, it's got the glue and everything. Paperwork? Ooh, a black one. I've always wanted a black interior Fairmont. Because usually they have like a funky color, which is fine. You know, I'll take any good interior. Look at that brand new dash cover for the Fairmonts. That's awesome. Man, a blue one and a black one. 
Oh man, I got a Fairmont right here. She's all busted up, so I'll sit it right over here on the Fairmont. That'll be perfect. Man, that is so cool. That is a big present. That is a huge present. Is there something in this, you think? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. He said there was something else, right? Well, he has another box. Oh, the second box. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. I'm glad somebody other than me appreciates the Fairmonts. I'm dying to get my red big block car done. I'm going to open this just in case. Oh, yeah, yeah, There's something in there? Yeah. What's that? I love it already. I can barely see it, but I love it. Look, it even came with the glue to put the dash on. Oh, guys. It's an RC Cola thermometer, an old one. I love it! Look at that. That's awesome. We're gonna have to hang it up in the shop. Yes. It says Daniel Radiator Corporation. That is so nice. Where did you find that? Look, somebody shot at it. Oh yeah. It's got two, two bullet so cool. hole marks in it. That's awesome. I love, love, love it. That, that is great. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Here, put it back. I don't want it to Oh, you gotta put it in the, in yeah, the Okay, okay, we gotta hang that up today. And I think that he has another box. Yeah, there's another box we noticed when we were looking where they were from. There's just kitties everywhere. This is Tater Bug. And Tater, he's a good kitty sometimes. He's yeah. becoming my favorite kitty. That here. means we get to keep him. Oh, oh, oh listen, where are you going? Here, we got one right here. Man, if it starts out this strong, I mean, where is this gonna end up? You know? This is from the same guy here, from John. Enclosing this package is something any RVer should have. A CB radio. No! <laughs> what? A CB here, hold on. Hey, break a break one night. <laughs> I gotta learn all the terms. Look at all this Wait. packing. It's still a good source of information from the truckers who traverse our country every day. The radio is a very small and compact unit. It has oh all the controls gosh. built into the microphone so it can be mounted anywhere without taking up too much space. What? I've included two types of antennas that can be used. One is a single mass glass mounted type and the other is a more traditional dual antenna system used by most truckers. My preference would be the dual antenna setup. It gets better reception, but the choice is yours. I've also included a meter to help calibrate the antennas for optimal performance. I wish you well on your upcoming trip and I know that this year's journey will be a success and not a repeat of last year. You've done just about everything you can to prevent any mechanical issues. Wow. John Green, I'll tell you what, you are just the sweetest. Look at that, so it's built into the radio. I didn't even know they made CBs that's just the radio part. No, he said Use that one? Yeah, the dual. Yeah, look at these dual aerials right here. Look at that. Two inch dual fiberglass CB antenna. Do you know anything other than Breaker Breaker one now? Uh, um, <laughs> I saw Smokey in the van, but it's been a while. I don't know, here. Look at that. We'll have to. I, I think cops are bears, I believe. Oh, here's another one. Look. Another antenna here. He's, he was saying this one. I think this one gets better. Look at that. That wow. is awesome. Man, you're awesome, dude. What does this thing do? CB radio antenna. So it's a uh, power meter. <laughs> He's gone. He's oh, we got, like we got kitties everywhere. Here's Look at this. You're going to love this, kid. Ralphie. Look at that thing. How cool is that? Let me see. It's a power meter. It shows your wattage. Well, it looks like a little yeah. miniature. Look at that. That's cool. That's that so that thing awesome. squeeze. Mm. Oh, see, we're gonna have a CB now. That's awesome. Look at this. Yeah, that's incredible. Wow. <laughs> you, reckon, you reckon the other people understand what I'm telling them? Uh, no, nobody's gonna know nothing what you're saying. Man, John, you have really what outdone you? yourself. Every time I hear same, I wanna say, John Dare Green. Oh. On a hot summer night. Thank you so much. Uh, those are awesome gifts. I didn't even know anybody made Fairmont dash covers like that. I'm gonna go ahead and open this even though we can see what it is from the outside. So what happened was if you watched last year's RV adventure, which was a year ago right now, I ruined the roof AC unit on accident trying to brace it up. Exactly. And we had to go and we bought the very last portable AC unit that was available. I think we paid like $700 for it. Oh, Lord. And then three days later, we had to let it go with the RV because we had no way to haul it home. Well, a company, cool name, Turbro, T-U-R-B-R-O reached out to us and they're like, hey, you lost your other one? 
How about we send you one you can use around your shop and stuff. So they sent us a portable AC unit. I know all of us are gonna be super excited about this. I'll put a link in the description to their company and where you can buy one. There's a discount code in the description of the video. Just make sure to use the link in the description to get the best deal on it and use my code for the best deal. Man, we have been wanting to get one of these for the shop because in a shop, especially a bigger shop where you're not really that insulated that great with big bay doors. You really can't cool or heat the whole shop unless you got a bunch of money. And we ain't got that any Yeah, w exactly. Yeah. So the best bet is to heat or cool just the area you're working in. That is the plan for us is to try to cool right where we're working. Okay, it's remote control. That's awesome, there you go. Woo. You know how to read. So this is your vent pipe that would, you know, duck the heat out of the building or out of your RV or whatever. There's a screen for it so no boogers climb up into it. Here's your flange. How are we gonna get this out of Oh wait, I hope it, it just comes up, don't it? I do this every time. One, two, three, four. So this is Greenland GLP 10 AC dash smart. So it's 14,000 BTU. It says it'll cool a 600 square foot area. That's about the size we work in. That'll be perfect. All right, let's look at this guy here. Ooh. It says Turbro on it. Turbro. I should have patented that name before they got that one, huh? For real. Yeah. So it's got a drain hose here. You see a lot of people using these nowadays, you know? Yeah. Used to it was always window air conditioners. Right. I guess they didn't have these when we were kids. Oh, it's got rollies on it, don't it? Rollies. Yep. That'll be easy to move around wherever we're working. Yes, that'll be perfect. And you know what's funny is I was so bummed out about losing that other one. There's been a bunch of times I was like, man, I wish we had the AC unit back that we had to let go. And then look how this all worked out. It came right back around. We didn't lose nothing, did we? Nope. Wow. We gotta plug it in. We just gotta plug it in right now. Yeah. Woo! It works. It came up. Oh, it's opening itself. Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a robot. All right. Cool. Oh. Hey, it works. Oh, it oscillates. That's nice. Squeeze, you're gonna love this. Yeah, it's gonna be plastered in front of it. <laughs> oh, it's getting cold. Feel it? Oh, yeah. That is awesome. So you can set the thermostat on to whatever temperature you want. Here, you wanna feel it, honey? Give me a little. Yeah! I would put it right up in the camera, but you know, it kinda can't, cord's only so long here. Man, go check them out. The good folks at Turbro, go get you a Greenland portable smart AC unit. They also have split units, so they got a little bit of everything. There'll be a link in the description, and thank you very much for sending this because it was a bummer losing the last one. I'm gonna turn this off so it doesn't mess with the microphone to close itself up. Wow. Once again, awesome. Awesome. I'm a stalking a victim. Oh. Okay, what's next? This one that's big in here? We got kitties literally everywhere. Well, we have all five, so yeah. All right, this one I believe is an Amazon box. Maybe there's a paper in here saying who it's from. Yes. Ooh, it's a box in a box. Very nice touch. Get the papers there. Ultrasonic cleaner. What? Ultrasonic cleaner. Is it ultrasonic well, cleaner? Yeah, it's ring on the side. Ultrasonic cleaner 6L. On the what thing? We're gonna have to show me how we're Oh man. The capacity. No way. Ralphie, I hope this helps cleaning carburetors and anything else that you have. So it's from David in for Georgia. Yeah, he go. sent you a bigger ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, uh, how is awesome is that? Great. That is very kind. That is. Yeah, because we love our ultrasonic cleaners. We're always needing more space to put stuff in a cleaner. Oh, wow, that's big. Because everything we find, we want to put it in there. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Awesome. Uh, oh. It's got a drain. Oh, it's got a drain. Look how nice the drain is. It's like wow. billet. Show them that, Ralphie. Get up there in the camera with oh, that. No, Give them the Vanna White special on that one. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. That makes sense. That's a big one. That'll be awesome for us cleaning stuff. Plus, it's got the basket in there. I like that it has the drain. That's awesome. Yes. Thank you very much. We're always needing more room to put stuff in the cleaner. Man, the gifts today. Crazy. This is crazy. You guys are crazy. How about I can open a present? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't even think about well, that. No, take Here you go, Mom. I got you. I was taking all the glory, wasn't I? Yes, you will. I'm real. sorry. Like it's from the Spear family from Hastings, Michigan. 
Thank you and your family for sharing your life with all of us. My husband watches all your shows, so I usually play games on my phone or read a book. Until Sleeper Dude. Wow. You are by far the best car show, family show, and entertaining show I've seen. We watch every episode. Well, unless you put a Chevy engine in a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> my husband has issues. Just pray for him. I wanted to send you something that I love from Michigan that I love as much as your show. If you ever get to Michigan, don't pass by a Big B Coffee. It started in Michigan and is going to be everywhere. It is a great company with great values. Hope you love the cups and merch. Thank you for sharing your life. Trish and Jeff Spear. What's the name of the coffee? Big B, I think. Big B. Big B. Big B. Big B Coffee. Okay. Oh, wow. It's got a hoodie. Oh. Nice. A toboggan, toboggan? in Tennessee. <laughs> I like the little poof thing on top. Oh, okay. Ralphie, there you go. Look at that. Here it is. Wow. That's thick, too. Another hoodie. What? And it feels hey, really good. Hey, I know oh, you want it. Nice. Here oh, yeah. is a coffee oh, cup. That's super nice. nice. For you coffee drinkers. Another cup. Look at the thing on the back. It's oh, so it's got a, nice. a bus. I'll have to show them. Okay. Look at that. Mom loves that one right there. That is awesome. Oh, oh, oh it's got like a wooden part of the box. So there's a oh, Big B Coffee. Never heard of them. <laughs> a scrunchie? Wow! I like this hoodie. It feels good. It's so big. Yeah. Here is another thing. It's super cool. I I've never seen one like that. Oh man, you can't drop that one, can you? Uh, that's awesome. Oh, the league is this way. Sorry. <gasps> mom, oh, look, here's a mom one. Show him. Show him the camera, mom. Here, show him, please. You gotta get real close. Oh, I love this. Look at this color. Here, mama. Look, you can put your name tag on that. Oh, I see it right there. I love that. Yeah. Man! All, right. all kinds of bracelet. I bet this contains the cold, huh? Look at all that stuff they sent us. merch. All kinds of stuff. And there's, um... Is that a beach ball? Wallet. Wow! Hey, those cups are awesome, huh? Yeah. Get it over here. Oh, we got a beach ball. Right here. Beach ball activated. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. That was awesome. That is I awesome. Love this. I love this. I've never seen one like that. You're going to be <laughs> sipping coffee all summer. Trish aren't you? and Jeff Spear. Hey, let's talk about Trish. <laughs> let's talk about Trish. How about we talk about that? So, my wife here, when we go to a restaurant and I ask your name, I just say Josh. Well, then we went to like McDonald's. No, we went Taco to Taco Bell. Bell. And I said Josh, and they called Josh, and the guy. In front of me was Josh, because there's a lot of Josh's, I guess. So ever since then, she has been telling... Because he got our order. And we yeah, he got our order, yeah. In. So ever since then, she has been telling the people at the drive-thru, or at the restaurant, that her name is Trish. Because there ain't no more Trishes, I guess. You think there's got to be some Trishes in Tennessee. So yeah. Oh, up every time they say, Trish, you're yeah, all Trish. So she uses that name. She's using your name. You better watch it. <laughs> Wow, thank you. That was crazy. This is from Vince and Mary in Kentucky. It looks nice on you. Cubs up the phone. These kitties are buck wild. What's this one's name? Okay. Milo. 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 Look at Milo. You Josh look it. with flops. What? Josh with flops. Oh, we got books. We got wish lists. So this is Ford Ranger. Ralph, it's a Ranger book. Ranger what? Bronco. What's that one? Chevy Love. Vince and Mary Ann. Is that an engine oh, kit wow. you build? Wow! Yeah. Look at that. It's, like so cool. it's an engine kit you build. What is this? Look, guys. Look, look, squeeze. You can put together an engine. Oh, it's like a plastic neat. engine and it turns. You can see inside of it. Yeah. Cool. Look at that. You want to hold it? That's Show them to the camera. Look at the shirt. My chainsaw, my rules. <laughs> oh, yeah. Flip flops and chainsaws. I need to make a, a, a shirt that says that. That feels nice too. I can wear I that. I can see it from over there. It's felt nice. <laughs> We're working on some t-shirt stuff, guys. Just bear with us. We're trying to get some new shirts for you. Man, thank you. I, I love the manuals. The Chilton and Haynes manuals. What do we got in here is the question, Wall. Oh, uh, it's a gremlin. It's a sign, a metal sign for a gremlin. Look at that. Awesome. That's nice. Well, I'll just show them that. Man, this, this is just crazy fan mail this time. I like this hoodie. Look at that. We love our green ones. It looks like the one Junk Car Diggs just did. He had one the same color and stripes and everything. Wow, thank you very much, guys. Look, even the dog's in there. Thank you so much. Ralphie, here you go. This is from B. Clark in California, A. Oh, another wow. box. There's a box in a box. <laughs> I hope you didn't have to pay for 
for all those boxes. I know. In a box. Taters open something. I think something it's the last one. Is that an Edelbrock bridge in them? I don't think so. Am I calling it correct? Mm -hmm. No. Wait, maybe. Hey, who is watching the channel? He's oh, made a clock out of an Edelbrock breather lid. Wow. That thing is heavy. That is It's cast so aluminum. Very nice. The Look at that. Bring a special quality. I will also say your daughters will know more than boys later on. Probably. Approaching Probably. 70, I've been doing what you do for most of my life and still am. The joy of bringing th things back to life after many years always brings a smile and sometimes not. In the end, it's a lesson learned and knowledge gained. That is so nice. Man. Along with the revival of everything mechanical is the repurposing of things. Sometimes in the smallest things you can see it living out its life as something different. Enclosed is such an item. I found this air cleaner lid at a swap meet years ago for a couple bucks. Pretty crusty, but because of its 12 points, I could see a clock. Well, it's sat and sat. I'm mending from Achilles tendon surgery and cannot do much. So, it was staring at me, and I thought of you guys. I cleaned it up and made it so. Hopefully, you'll enjoy it. It should fit in your decor somewhere. Yes. You might find that the sweet hand skips, and you can remove it. Keep doing what you're doing. Maybe we'll see a video of you guys at a swap meet looking for treasure. Watching from California, Bill Clark. Wow. Thank, thank you, Bill. Bill. That is That's so cool. Awesome. That is very That nice. is a very nice clock. I mean, you ain't gonna find another one, are you? No. Thank you. We really like that. That's a good idea. Especially with it having 12 that was me. points on it like that. Squeezy, you Just, ready? I have a kitten licking my toe right now. <laughs> it's actually biting it today. I don't know who it is. It was JJ. 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 Oh, that's, that's full of stuff that's about to come out. So this is, it says S. Bellows, Massachusetts. Heavy duty remote starter switch. That's a dumb thing you're right there. What'd you call it? A lasso? Yeah. <laughs> it's a remote starter button. Look, hey, that's a serious one. Look at one. this dude. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look, it's like a pry bar plus. Yeah. Where I figured you could that look. Oh. Well, that's heavy. 60 years of Corvette. We got a serious remote starter switch here. Do you think that would be used in bathroom emergencies or not? No, it's for hubcaps. He says it's for oh, hubcaps. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And a remote start button I bought and never used. Oh, cool. Uh, hopefully your family can use it. Yes, uh, we can. You and your family are great. I love the family working Sweet. together on projects. You are teaching your kids some valuable yeah. lessons in life. I'm a longtime subscriber and have always been one of my favorite. And you have always been one of my favorite channels. God bless you Thank all. Thank you. So this is all 60 years of Corvette. <laughs> Ralphie will be reading up on that one. Scott. Bellows from Massachusetts. Well, thank you, Scott. That is great. Yeah, we will definitely use it. What happens is, I think I broke two remote starter switches already. I usually end up forgetting and leaving them under the hood, and we take off and it's caught in the fan, and, or it falls off the front end and gets run over by the casing. Such is what usually happens. Is it back around to me now? Or Rocky chews wires. Sure. Rocky did chew the wires off one. Let's Later see. Well, he's safe then. Yeah. This is from Gary in, I believe it's California, judging by the zip code. It doesn't say. Can you believe this? It's crazy. This is crazy fan mail this time. This is a whole other level. A box in a box. Check us out on other platforms at SleeperDude88. Lodi, California. Man, he got the duct tape on this one. That might be the Gorilla Tape. Probably. <laughs> tater. I wish you could see Tater running. His tail's up, doing like this, running. And they barely have got their little legs working. They've never got to run before. They've been Wait, in their whoa. cage. A boom box? You think it's really a boom box? Yeah. I don't know. Four we'll see. CD boom box. Ralph is chasing down Tater Bug. Taters! He's in the middle. I see him. He's underneath there. Mm -hmm. I got him. Yes, Tater has been box. captured. They want to see Tater. Hey, beautiful. Hey. Sleeper dude and family, I have mediocre handwriting, so rather than face the shame of you reading this on your show, I printed this letter out. Thank you. <laughs> My entire life has always involved music in some way, shape, or form, and he wrote thought a song. that with your trip coming up, maybe I could use a small boom box to take with you on the trip. <laughs> I wrote a blues tune about your family and show and have put it oh, on a CD in this box. I hope you like the blues. There is more of our tunes as well if you like it. I did this because I really appreciate <laughs> how you all work and stick together while providing all your viewers hours of entertainment each week that you can watch with your family. Currently, I'm stuck working in California and my family is in Tennessee. It is a comfort to me watching your shows and it kind of helps me to feel somewhat connected to that part of our country for a little while. 
Thank you for all the awesome entertainment. Keep up the good work. Your show brightens my week, and I look forward to the new episodes as a new episode of The Mandalorian or something like that. That's from <laughs> We have flat casing blues. That's yeah. what Did you see the song? It's hilarious. This Wait. is gonna be epic. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, I was driving, squeezing tosh. Out there in the workshop, trying to help out the couch. I've got the flat casing. Black case and blues. so great. Don't go bust your mother. Trying to turn that bus. That is awesome. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> wow. That's awesome. That's cool. Hey, no. How cool you did a good was that? Good job. Yeah, you did. Impeccable job. Impeccable. That was way better than I thought it was going to be. That was <laughs> awesome. We'll use that. Okay. Thank you so much yes. for saying that. Yes. That was very nice. That was very cool. Oh, Who opened that? Me? It's your turn, Mom. Oh, are you are you safe with a razor blade? Uh, yeah. Who's this from? Joseph, Auburn, Alabama. Thanks for all the entertainment you've provided me since my little brother Sean sent me Ralphie's birthday video. I'm not really into cars, but your clean, fun, family entertainment keeps me coming back. With this letter are some snacks, a little something for Ellie and Scooter, and some animal crackers for the goats. Also included are some socks I picked up in Helen, Georgia, and grabbed because I thought you'd like them. I get Squeezie's love of boxes. I miss being able to fit inside them things sometimes. <laughs> I think a good catchphrase for her would be, boxes over socks. That's pretty good. Yeah. I hope your camper is ready for the summer. A short trip you might think about is the Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Yeah. Just a cool. short test trip to a cool place I think we'd all enjoy. Good idea. Bucky's Trail Mix. We've never tried that. What? what? Bucky's has trail mix? Oh. Oh my gosh. I didn't know this was a thing. Wait. Milk chocolate beaver nuggets. What? Whoa. Whoa now. What in the world? That's a thing? Well, y'all just, just, it keeps getting better. Beaver nugget sea salted caramel. What? Wow. Oh, and the cutest little doggy treats. Scooter and Ellie are going to love them. Look at them. Oh, Go wow. Show the camera. Go show the camera. Come on. Look at this. Three seconds. Who even knew that existed? I've got, I've got to try this right now. These look really cool. I want to try these beaver nuggies. Oh, uh, my God. Dang. I'm going to try my first chocolate covered beaver nugget. This may change my life. The good? Very good. There's also animal crackers. Oh, cinnamon sweet. I'm just going to keep these in my hand. And then these socks say, whatever floats your goat. That's <laughs> so funny. Show them the socks. People love cinnamon socks. I love the goat socks. I wear them all the time. You oh. probably like that. Oh. <laughs> you should try the chocolate one. Whoa, that's good. Oh, that's really good. I didn't know that existed. That's very good. Thank you. Very good snacks. We're hungry. It's past our lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. You got an Amazonian one. Wow. Man, those are good. You like the cinnamon ones? Mm. You like the cinnamon stuff, don't you? No, I love it. Have we never seen that before? If you try to zip us in and zip us out, it's cooking your pan. This says, Squeezy, we hope you enjoy this art kit. <gasps> don't forget the Baker family when you are famous artists. From Heather and John Baker. Wow, they sent Squeezie an art kit. Yeah, it's big. Wow, wow. Squeeze. Look You'll at that. The camera. That is so nice. Look at that. Wow. What do you think about that, Squeezel? Is that exciting? Yeah. You may help you open you the plastic it? on it. That is so yeah. nice. Thank you. Oh, is it got like a wood case? Yes. So wow. That's incredible. You know, they should use these during communion at church. <laughs> what? Whoa, squeeze. That's awesome. I was a big Thank art you. person too when I was a kid. I used to uh, ask for stuff like this for Christmas. Thank you so much. How's that your brother? Oh, 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 the disrespect. Spit it out. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> Wow, well thank you for saying that. Squeezy will definitely put that to good use. Have you ever had one that fancy? No. That's super awesome. Well, thank you. Look at this guy, he's gonna take a ride. Look. You 
just gonna sit there, let me move you around. So while I get to another one. Oh, this one's heavy. This is from Collins in Indiana. I've been excited Yay. about this one because it feels like it has fluids in it. No, no, no. Probably. What is this? Here are some items we thought you would enjoy. What? Love watching your channel. I think that's a grease. Greg, Jessica, Scooby Doo. Oh, we got a tube of grease. Uh oh, we got a hit in shipping. High temp grease, full synthetic. That's the good stuff. Marvel Mission. Never dull, all metal polish. Yeah. Awesome. Marvel, we use Marvel all the Ooh. time. We've got some. Brake fluid. Oh, man, you know what I need. We've got some PB Blaster. Oh, this is a good stuff. We've got some tough stuff. This Ooh. is everything we buy right We've here. Got some car clear. Very nice. Thank that you. is great. Have a, All these kitties are taking everything Angel, out. Oh, check it out, kitties. There you go. Here, it's a stickle. That's awesome. That yeah. is. That's perfect. I mean, stuff like that is stuff we buy all the time. So that is a great gift. Like that, that's something we're always all the time getting. Those are cinnamon ones. So thank you, J and J Davis from Indiana. I think it's hubcaps or something. See if I can get these clean. Been sitting around since the seventies in the cabinet. Wish I still had the. Beauty rings. Hope you can see them. Oh, yeah, Hope so you can use them. American Racing Dog Dish Cap. That's like an earlier hoop right there because it snaps on the inside. J and J Davis. Uh, well, Ralphie will definitely do a good job cleaning them. We ought to have something I love those. Yeah, that's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. We'll put that on something around here. Awesome. Just those four hubcaps, that's all? Yeah. Thank you. You need something to clean, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. Right. This is from Missouri. Has no name on it. Oh, we got a Chilton manual. I mean, it's still Look, in the yeah. plastic, as my buddy Roy would say. Oh, he's climbing there. Or she is. Steve Hilliard. Sleepy Doo family. Cleaned my garage for the first time in 20 years and found this book. I know it's not an American made, but maybe it can help enjoy your channel from Steve Hilliard. Oh, yeah. I like the old Toyota pickup trucks like that. We may end up being able to afford one one day. Never go on polish. This is from the box right before this. People are so generous. At least Hi. our fans are. They've named the black kitty Jamal Jr. because he looks just like Jamal. They call him JJ. So they call him JJ. And we got Tater, Milo, oh, and Dumplin. Dumplin. Tilly. Unfortunately, I don't see a name tag in here. Is it a tiny box inside of a box? I think it's for me, though. Of course. Oh, we got Croc Headlights. Croc Headlights engaged. Woo. Get that up in the camera for them. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I think it is. <laughs> Oh my gosh, crop headlights. Well, you gotta be able to see it at night, you know? That's awesome, thank you. No, we don't know who sent it though. I'm sorry, I don't know who sent it. They didn't put you. the paper in there if you asked them to. And it comes with a um, charging cord. <laughs> is it from Neil in Neil. Missouri? Ow! <laughs> Tater is biting me and clawing me. Tater, you are such a bad kitty today. And clothes with a couple Woo! trinkets I thought you might could use in your RV wiring and a copy of my article on DC systems. Written for my series on RV conversions to buses. Insect repellent. Oh, insect repellent. That's good stuff for trips. Yeah. That he is. tells you about okay. the air conditioning stuff. Yep. So that's an article on Our DC conditions. systems. Okay. DC he also tells you a little bit about the air conditioning stuff on here. About R12, 134A, that stuff. Okay. I didn't find so, look at this stuff. We got Repel. Uh, I like this loom here. Yeah. Some tubing. And he sent an article that he wrote about DC connectors and stuff. So I'll be looking to you're getting the 360 going. And hopefully the OD transmission cool. is as rugged as the 707. Yeah. Neil Wild and Boar. Neil. Thank you. Thank you, Neil. Woo. Yeah. I think he's also the same one that had sent the roof. Uh, event and stuff last time. Oh, okay, box. okay. Well, thank you very much. This is another Amazon one, I believe. How come the keys are around me? I don't know. I'll sit down with me. Enjoy your gift. Clean your motors from Leslie Johnston. We got some cleaning products. I love this, sir. I love this, wow. sir. <laughs> are you already coloring? She's coloring. What a deal. They color the color stuff to color? Mm hmm. That's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's a scraper. Wow. That's a fancy scraper. Hello. And a bigger one. Wow. Show them up in the camera, Ralph. Those are some swank scrapers there. We ain't never had nothing like that. Awesome. Very cool. We will definitely use them. Oh, wow. Quit with your duck lips. Here you go, Weasel McSqueaselton. See what this one is. I cut the top there. What we got, Squeezy? Glasses. Glasses? It looks like a mall. Did you get swank glasses? 
They're safety glasses. Oh! Wall. I think I've seen something about this. <gasps> Look at that, Wa. Oh, good lord. I'm not wearing glasses. Look at that. Well, you're the only one that doesn't have glasses They're on, see? They're safety glasses. See, they got the side shields. They're Swankosaurus They're Rex safety glasses. Look at these. Yeah, I'm the only one who doesn't wear glasses. Yeah, Wawa well, well, is the only one that's not wearing glasses all the time. So they cool. serve the safety glasses. Pass me that envelope. I didn't even know they made Pass swanky the ones. Well, whoever sent that, we really appreciate it. Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Wawa well, well, appreciates it. Oh, yeah. Get the eyebrows going. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Did you know they made swank ones like that? No, I did not know they made swank ones. Ow! Tater! Ah. That hurts. Sleeper dude. Krispy Kreme merch! Are you kidding me? Woo! Ah! The hot sign! The hot sign! Yay! That's uh, cool. <laughs> Who I didn't know Krispy Kreme merch! Apparently so! Who sent it though? It doesn't stay on here. This is what it came from. Wow. That's incredible. It doesn't say, it just says the place they bought it from. Thank you. Oh, this is going to be mom's new favorite shirt here. Exactly. Wow. Look at that, mom. Wow. Hot right now. Man, you can't wear that shirt. People will be pulling over. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. That is awesome. Okay. I had no idea you could even buy a Christmas cream shirts. This is from Paul in West Virginia. West Virginia. Mountain mama. Take me home. Oh, and apparently somebody bought us a car and driver subscription, I guess, because we had a car and driver magazine in our P.O. box that says it's to us. P.O. box 3411, Rossville, Tennessee. So we now have car and driver magazine. So thank you to whoever did that. It doesn't say. Check it out. It's a new car. Look at that BMW. Must go on the camper from what? Grandfather John. Oh, yeah, yeah. Woo! Ric Flair. Oh, you got a Ric Flair sticker that says woo. Uh -huh. no, That's awesome. Thank you, Grandfather John. Well, you know what we gotta do. Woo! Exactly. That's going on the RV for sure. 100%. Great sticker. Thank you very much. This is from Brent in Wisconsin. Circus Peanuts. My favorite. Is it? Oh. I love them. Oh, so we have some Twizzlers. Oh. Twizzlers. Twizzlers. I like some Twizzlers Peanuts. now. Thank you. Wow. Thank you for sending that. We appreciate it. <clears throat> thank you, Brent. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Well, we like those. That was very nice. Thank you for sending that. We got one from John in Arizona. Woo! Josh and Sleeper Dude family, love your videos. Cool how your family pitches in to help on the projects. I noticed Ralph and Wawa have some difficulty removing spark plug wires from the spark plugs. I'm oh. sitting at all tool. Show up front. I okay. used to uh, have back oh. in the 70s. Hope it's it here. comes in handy. Keep the uh, videos coming. Thanks, John from Arizona. I don't think I've ever I seen think it's one. Like of those. this, right? Yeah, you hook it on the plug. Like, yeah. Chink. Well, that is great. Thank you, John. They do need some help with those spark plug they wires. They do. Really? What is this? Brent from Wisconsin. What do we got here? Oh, hey, this is more from Brent. Same guy. He said it's all kinds of goodies. Chocolate covered raisins and mini gummy worms. Well, thank, thank you, Brent. You. Yep. Yeah, thank you, Brent. Yeah, we're about full of beaver nuggets right this second. We will eat them later. All right, I think we are down to letters, right? This is a new one for us. It's a wedding invitation. Oh, no. Wedding invitation? Yep. Kara what? and Tyler. Where they live? In Michigan. Kara and Tyler, Michigan. Quite a drive. Congratulations. <laughs> it's in Quite August. A... Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. If we're in Michigan in August... We will come by. I don't know that we'll be in Michigan in August, but we appreciate the invitation. That's a first. That is a very, you're the first one to send us a wedding invitation. How far is Michigan? It's, it's up there. It's like 14 hours, I think. Oh. 14 hours? What? Okay, so we got Mr. Bouchard. Is this the one with the station wagon? Yes, line? he sends his stuff quite often. Enjoys your video on Pigeon Forge. Looks like everyone had a good time. And close are some photos of the Bundy Warehouse spring opening. Hope all is well with the Tosh Sleepy, Wawa, and Ralphie. Keep Tosh Squeezy, Wawa, and Ralphie. Keep up the good work. Take care, Phil. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. It looks like a good show. Well, thank you. 
He's got the really nice white station wagon, I think. Right? Yes. This is right up my alley. Hello, Tosh. I hope you and your family enjoy the pumpkin seeds. The plants will provide not seeds? only leveling pumpkins for a variety of uses, but the seeds will also provide whole seeds to much on. Aletha. Let me show them. So that they, she sent me these seeds. Some of them fell out in the thing, but I got them in here. And she told me how to plant them. Yeah, and then homegrown seeds are different than store bought. Look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> That's the first time we've been sent seeds. Woo! Two firsts this time. Nice. Here are the pics of the Econo line. It is a pound delivery van. Can't wait until you get yours running down the road. Hi, Tosh, Wawa, Squeezy, Ralphie, and of course, Rocky. After reading this, give it to Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> Let him eat it, yeah. This is El Daddyo. El Daddyo? We'll, we'll let Rocky eat the paper. Oh, look at this cool van. That looks like it's a nice survivor here. Can Yeah, that's approved right there. Very cool. That looks like our truck, doesn't it? Oh, it's awesome. Man, I love the, the old hand lettering. And Ooh. that was the last of the letters. All right, well, that's it for this time. I guess we'll see you guys next month. I can't believe how much stuff you sent. I'll give you a shot of around the room when we get done here. It is a train wreck now. But thank you to everybody who sent stuff. Yes, we really thank appreciate you it. So much. You really went above and beyond this time. Woo. Very cool stuff you sent. We will definitely use the air conditioner. Uh, go check out Turbro. Link in the description. Get you a portable AC unit or a split unit. They also sell other products. So thank you to them for sending that. Man, Fairmont dashes. That's crazy. I mean, Squeezy even got a big art kit. She is already burning up the pencils. We're gonna have to get a pencil sharpener. That's all there is to it. They have chocolate covered them. beaver nuggets. That's next level. Who knew? Next level. Nobody knew. I hope you like this. Uh, if you want to send something in the fan mail, you can send it to P.O. Box 3411, Riceville, Tennessee, 37370. Really appreciate everything you guys sent. I guess we'll see you next time. Check out our main channel, Sleeper Dude, if you haven't already. Let's turn our air conditioning on. How about that? Yay! Get out of here. Look at this, guys. There is stuff everywhere we opened. All right, we gotta go give Rocky his letter. Come on, they wrote a letter for you. It's not to you guys, they said Rocky. Come on. Come on, chosen one, here you go. You want your letter? There you go. He appreciates it, guys.